What is up everybody, it's Nerp here, and it's here what you've all been waiting for, the first episode of Deck Wars between me and Blinky. So today I'm going to play the first match for the Deck Wars. Um, if you don't remember, it, Deck Wars is going to be three best of five um, series, and you have to have nine different decks, and when you lose the deck, you gotta go to a new deck. So, and you can't use deck twice unless you won with it. And you can't use the same deck between uh, series. So, these are the decks I'm going to use. Not all these decks, obviously. But the decks that have a number after it. If it has a number one, I'm using it for the first series. Number two, the second series. And number three, the third series of matches. So, for the first best of five series, the three decks I'm using is Aggro Order. Energy Order Structures. And Mono Decay. So these are three power decks. Um, no gimmicks in these decks. I'm going all out for this first series. Uh, this is actually the deck I use in ranked right now. Um, and I'm trying to do this kind of strategically, what decks I play like in what order. I'm going to lead off with the aggro order because uh, aggro order is very... Um, it's on level playing ground with, I think, every other deck. I don't think it has a big weakness to another deck, or a, uh, or a, um, or is really strong against another deck. Whereas something like Decay or Structure Energy is more rock paper scissors -y. Like uh, Decay usually loses structures because it's hard to deal with them, but then structures lose to quakes and growth. So um, I figure I'm going to use this, see how many wins I can get with this. Um, maybe if I'm lucky, I get like a sweep for this and win these three matches with aggro order. But if and when I lose. Um, let's say I lose to growth, then I could just easily go into uh, into mono decay and try to win that because mono decay ha has an advantage over growth with the witch doctor and rod eater and harvester. So, you know that's a uh, that's a good matchup for decay. And if I happen to lose to uh, decay, I could just jump right into the structure deck. And as we know, structures are strong against decay. So that's my strategy kind of have the structures and decay as uh, counters to whatever aggro order loses to but I'm still gonna try to win it all with aggro order and um, so I have the three very different decks a control deck a just like mid just a strong mid game deck late game deck and a very aggressive uh, aggro order type of order whatever you want to call it deck so we're gonna try to win the first match of this series best of five and Hopefully that will lead us to um, a series win, and then we can uh, head into the next two series, series two and series three, with a, a whole series win in our bet. But that's getting ahead of ourselves. This is only the first game of the first series in Deck Wars between me and Blinky. So I hope you guys enjoy, and here is match numero uno. There we go. Good luck. So let's see. Do we want to keep this starting hand? Yes, I think we do. Um, we have a 2-drop and a 3-drop. Let's see what he's playing. I'm going to sack the early decimation. And so my three decks I chose for um, this first best of five, as you know, were uh, Aggro Order, Energy Order Structures, and Mono Decay. I went with Aggro Order first because, because I think the Aggro Order has a fair fight versus anything. Whereas Mono Decay and Energy Order Structures both like, are, are ahead in one matchup against something and behind in another matchup. And we see he's Decay. So that means, like for example, if we lose this matchup for him, I'm going to switch to Structures and maybe I'll be able to beat his Decay deck because Structures usually beat Decay. So now let's see. I'm going. Pop is pretty good against Decay, but I'll, I'm going to sack that. So now we got a creature on the board. Let's see what we can do. Hmm. We have a wing shield and a wings captain coming. He's moving up. So good, he didn't have a drop there. Flip is nice. I'm going to sack the blessing of haste. Although wings captain with blessing of haste can be like really nice later. Uh, against decay, I really want to keep that flip because it might come in handy. Or I might just sack it next turn. Who knows? I might get my three wings units out: the soldier, the wing shield, and the wings captain. No brain lice on my wing shield. Oh well. So that's going to go down soon. 
Wings Warder, I'm going to keep that. I'm definitely going to keep that. So hopefully we don't top deck like a um, a uh, Ducal Skirmisher or something because we want to have we want to top deck something that we're we're not going to play this turn. So then maybe we can play the Warder and like a two drop or one drop and a Brain Lice on that guy back there. So he's getting these Brain Brain Lices and I guess we'll just have to play the Warder this turn. You're gonna die, so I don't care about moving you up. And I'll put the warder in the back here. So at least this thing's protected. But the warder, I believe, can still be played spells on. So I think he can still damage curse on wings, warder, and he can uh, brain lace that. But he can't like do anything to my uh, wings captain. I think he could still curse things with the curse monitor's ability. Not actually sure. I should know. So he just got two cards. That's it. That's a little weak. I don't know. Um, is this, if it's not called a soldier, so you don't get moved to, but I am going to move up and kill stuff. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of this. Or no, am I? Do I want to? Yeah, why not? And we'll put our vanguard here. And now we have an internal sword in our hand when we want to. So let's see. I would like to draw a wing shield again. And he has a big uh, card advantage right now because of those two brain lices. Let's see. This could be an opportunity for him to dam and curse my Wings Captain when it's not protected by the Wings Warder. But we'll see. But he might not want to do that because it's early game and he wants to get a presence on the board. And he sacks for scrolls when he has set a lot of cards and he goes for the dam and curse there. Okay. And now hopefully we can top deck a Blessing of Haste or a um, Rush of Bean Potion because I'd like to kill this Witch Doctor. A Royal Skirmisher. Uh, Eternal Storm is nice, but I think we want to keep the Royal Skirmisher. And please get a Countdown Reduction. Yes. And we can play the Royal Skirmisher too. Awesome. Perfect. Um, I guess I want you in the middle so you can give more things your buff. And that guy's on the same countdown as you, and they're both protected. Alright, it's looking good so far. He has, he does have the card advantage, though, because of the brain laces. But we did a little bit of vital damage so far, and I have some nice things on the board. And we have a focus, or eternal sword, we're going to sack the focus. And I will, yeah, I'm just going to simply play the eternal sword on this. I don't, I'm not worrying about a damage curse, because we have this wings order back here. So I'll play the eternal sword, and I'll play the wings soldier right here. Sorry about that. Okay, and we have I didn't have my turn. So it's looking good. It is looking good. He sacks for order. Oh god. Don't tell me he has a uh puppet soldier horn of ages. Please no. Puppet soldier horn of ages. Okay, Phew. I was really worried there. <laughs> so I think, I think he went with a good deck to choose. I think he had a feeling I was a lead off with aggro order, so he went with I think a poison deck here. Most, most order decay decks are poison variant. I guess in most, some of them are harvest or tempo theft. I hope it's harvest or tempo theft because I really just don't like poison. It orders pretty bad against poison because of like, spell untaint and stuff. We don't really know what he's running. The decimation does kill this tether recruit, so I think I'm gonna want to sack the skirmisher. Yeah, I'll sacrifice the skirmisher. And do we want to just get a bunch of idle damage off right here? Um. Well, yeah, of course I want to get a bunch of idle damage off, but I think I'll just go ahead and just take down that idol. Actually, no, I'm going to... I want to keep these guys in the same row, though. I want to keep you... Okay, I'm going to go like this. I am going to decimate you. So you're out of the way. 
and then I'll go like this. So now I have two idols in decimation range, but I already used a decimation and already sacked a decimation. So there's that. But with aggro order, worst attempts to worse, you just try to fish for decimations. What is he gonna do? Another brain lace? Get his third brain lace? I hope not. Or infectious blight, maybe. Possibly. And infectious blight. Maybe not. Maybe it was a mistake. I I kept this vanguard off of the row with the wings border, but I wanted to. Do. I guess I could have had both of them destroy this idol and not use the buff for the infantryman. Oh well. Okay, he does not go for a. Uh... Oh, he's filling up his board. All right, hopefully, he doesn't get have a witch doctor soon. Another wings warder. I'm going to keep the wings warder. I think the wings warder is very important in this matchup, so I'm going to keep that. And a pother. Uh. You are not roasted bean potioned. I'm going to move down. And try to. Have fun stuff happen here. I don't. He might have a busting haste sign, but I'm not gonna worry that much. I want to get the attack buff. I'll go ahead and get rid of that. And play a wings warder back here. I'm not gonna do anything else. I'm not gonna like pother and hope for like a busting of haste because I don't even. Cause yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Because I might need a pother to come now because he might have a witch doctor, or I might need a pother to get rid of this wing shield. But as it stands right now, we have two Wings Warders there, so chances are he has nothing to deal with our um, two big threats here, our Vanguard and our Skirmisher. So, I like our position, but he, do oh, he does have a Busting of Haste, and he's going to destroy the Vanguard. Got it. So I, maybe, I was a little bit greedy there. I probably should have had the Vanguard back here and then put the Wings Warder in front of the Vanguard to protect it. Yeah, I was probably a little bit greedy. But, um... We did what we did. Because I was, I was being greedy because I wanted to get the attack buff on this infantryman. So we had a very close match right now. But I do still have the strongest guy on the board, which is this Royal Skirmisher. And let's see, does he have a tethered recruit? Okay, so you're dead. And I do have a focus and a pother. And Wings Cleaver, and the Wings Cleaver is ready to go. Hmm. Focus. Du, 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 du. If I focus, I can destroy. Should I pother you? And then fo and then kill both of you. Um, let's pother something. Oh no, I can't pother. I can pother. I can still kill. Let's pother, um, you. An eternal sword. Ooh, I like that. I'm going to sack the focus. And I'm going to play the eternal sword on you. So you have eight, so that's gonna be four plus. So I'm going to go ahead and kill this stuff. And I'm going to take some, seven does it, right? Four plus three, yeah, so. I'll take some, uh, if he wants he can deal two damage to my skirmisher here. And I'm gonna try to get a wing cleaver up. I might not have a chance with the protection. We'll see. Now I'm gonna hope for a blessing of haste or a uh, roasted bean potion. Very close match so far. If I can get a roasted a blessing of haste or something, I, I'm I did a lot of idle damage already. This guy's going to have his Dominion activated. If I play him, he'll be an immediate threat. He'll actually be a 725. And is he going to be able to kill this guy? I hope not. I really hope he doesn't.
What would he be able to do that would kill him? I'm not sure. Oh, he's moving up there. Okay, so he's just... He's going to go ahead and kill the infantrymen. I'm okay with that. Now... I'm going to go ahead and take out... I want to play this Wings Cleaver now. It's a huge threat. I'm going to sacrifice the Aging Knight. Play the Wings Cleaver. I'm going to give up this Wing Soldier. But I am. he's going to take down a Wings Warder with him. I'm going to move this up. And get a Wings Cleaver down. So now I have two huge threats. Okay. Let's see what, we, what he has up his sleeve. The main thing I'm worried about is a Harvester Tempo Theft, which would hurt a lot. <laughs> and I'm also worried about a um, possible Puppet Soldier Corn of Ages. And it looks like one of those two is in his deck because I haven't seen like my Asthma Wells yet, so I'm, and, or, my, or my Ire Curses, or Infectious Blight to be honest. So. Maybe he's not poison. He might be Harvester Tempo or uh, Puppet Soldier. But it looks like... I don't know. We'll see. At least we have two big threats. I want to get Wing Shields in front of those guys because then they stop a Harvester Tempo theft pretty hard. I mean, they don't completely stop it, but it absorbs it. Okay, it looks like he can't... All right, that's good. He did, wasn't able to do much. He's only able to destroy that guy. And we're able to do a lot of damage here. Ooh, and a... We can win probably really soon. Um, I'm going to sack the Ducal Infantryman here because that has decimation can be big there. there. So I'm going to sack one Ducal Infantryman. And good, we got some things. Alright, so I think we definitely just want to take down this row. Or you know what we can do? We can decimation and take that. No, I'm going to save the decimation. I'm just going to go ahead and take down this whole row. So that's going to deal one damage to that idol. And I'm going to... I'm going to move you down. And get a Ducal Skirmisher down. I mean, I don't think there's a point in me going up there. I mean, that's a 10 health idol, and there's a 2 health idol, and a 9 health. These are lower idols down here. And I have a Decimation. So we can probably win really soon, because I don't think he has anything to deal with my, my two huge Relentless dudes. He would need like, I think his only chance now, even if he's a harbor tempo tempo theft this turn, it's not even enough damage to kill uh, this cleaver as attacking. Let's see what he's able to do. You're really big to get this first win. Okay, interesting deck he has here. He's had I've seen him play pretty strong creatures from both sides and now can we win the game not as it stands I'm gonna sack the crossbowman because this flip I'm able to get a quick win by flipping the scholar because that's five health let's see what we can do no but I'm fine with that because I think we got better stuff so I will go ahead and destroy both of you guys yeah I'll, I'll kill both of you and Move you down. You there. Eight. Well. Eight is, um. What's it gonna lead it down to? That's six. That's gonna be at seven. Eight and seven is not a big. Actually, this thing kills it then. Well, I think I'm gonna go like this. I want enough health in front of these dudes. Yeah. Basically what I'm trying to do is I want at least four health in front of both of these guys. So Harvester's Tempo Theft does not kill the guy behind. He's Harvester's 8 attack. So I... And then both of these guys have 5 attack. So at least four would make it 9, to, nine health in total, though, which would absorb the hit. And maybe be able to attack the next turn. So it's very interesting. He's playing an odd deck here, I think. Like I said, most Order Decay decks are of the poison variety. I've seen some Harvester Tempos and some Puppet Soldiers with Horn Rages, but we haven't seen any of the combos yet. But we have things attacking on three different rows. 
so I'm not too worried. Things would have to go horribly wrong for us to lose this. These winged orders are really important. I'm very glad I, I, I drew them in like the first third of my draws. Actually, faster than the first third of my draws, very fast. So let's see if we can win here. We should be able to. It looks like we are going to be able to flip and decimation. Yeah. So um, that's GG, right? I think. So three plus seven is ten. All right. Yeah, this is GG. How do we make this work? Here, look, GG. WP. We won match one. Big win. Now we get to keep using this deck, and this deck is a strong deck. Now let's. Uh, we just have to get this guy out of here and then decimate there we go so big win there and now we get to keep using the deck and let's see what blinky has to counter this deck and try to even out the uh, first uh, best of the first best five let's see if we can even it out with a counter